What is up everybody? It's me William with Engine PCs along with Jake and behind me here we have three incredible cases to unbox for you. One of which is the rarest Case Labs case on the planet. All right, so we're about to bust this open and we'll reveal the names of them as we do it. So if you want to know what the rarest case labs case is, go ahead and skip ahead. Jake and I are going to start cutting this open and show you what we got. And now that I'm filming, I get to pass this on to Jake. I don't want to do more, though. <laughs> you can grab the camera. I'm happy to take a look at these. I am also I just so enthusiastic and can't wait to see this. Well, I'm going to unbox from the back because I don't want to spoil what's inside. I don't know which is what's on which So while Jake is doing this, here's our cat tax of the day. Say hello to Mr. Pickles. Mr. Pickles. Mr. Picklesworth is his full name. As you can see, he is ugly cute. Oh, look at him. All right, Jake, have you revealed him yet? No, I don't want you to spoil it. And I don't know what case is on what side. That is true. I'm going to cut the straps because this is all in the way. Oh, you cut the straps. They're nice, they're nice tie downs. I don't care. They're now not nice tie downs. All right, save the rest of them. You can spoil them. one right here. Save the rest of them. Oh. That should look familiar. Oh, hey, that, check it out. That should look familiar. Yes, it does. Perfect. All right, so since Jake just showed you guys that one, we have in here to unbox for you an X Forma MBX MBK2. All right, I know what's what now. So oh, you do you? Oh, you've yeah, seen they're them? They're both wrapped up. Shout okay. out to Mod 1 for. Uh, doing some exceptional packaging on these because um, neither of these actually has boxes for the case lab stuff because can we see, uh, they're can already you see them or are they, oh they're even wrapped oh yeah. that's even better we don't have to show you guys yet what one of these are so we're gonna move some of this over Holy here to the side crap. this is amazing yeah. we're gonna move some oh, of this to the side man. be careful what on the front not all of it is wrapped I see. so I you see. might notice that uh they're two different sizes, and like I said, they are um, wrapped up because they weren't boxed. Uh, neither of these actually had boxes, but we're going to start with this one first. Um, both of these are special. Both of them have quite the history to them. But this one in the middle is the one I'm most excited about. So... I don't want to scratch anything. So, not everyone knows this, but quite a few people do. I used to work for Case Labs, and the shutdown was not exactly the happiest thing for me. Um, losing a top-tier enthusiast company in the PC world when you are an enthusiast, uh, it doesn't really make your day any better. And I'm sad to see them gone, but the silver lining is that kind of as a thanks for the work and the help I did for them, uh, Jim Keating, the owner, provided me with quite the Christmas present. So anyone who's followed knows that there is a build called Zeus. Um, Currently, Zeus 2, which is his build, in the SMA8A revision. And this right here is actually the original Zeus case. So when, or when Jim originally built the Zeus, this was it. This is the SMA8 that Jim used for the original Zeus build. Um, so not only does it have some very nice history to it from that, it also has a custom paint job. And a very nice one at that if I'm being honest. Let's see. Let's switch it over. If you'll walk over here to my side, I'm going to rotate this around. Also, for anyone who doubts Case Lab's quality, this thing is exceptionally light for being as sturdy as they are. Mr. 
pickles if you knock this off. So this is Zeus 1.0. This is the case Jim Keating used for that original build. Um, you'll notice it actually has the reverse layout. So the GPUs will actually be at the top. And we already have some fun plans for this one. Um, Will's actually taking over this one to use for a personal project of his, since he's quite fond of monochrome. All right, now. Sorry, we paused camera a second ago because we didn't know what all we were gonna reveal of this, kind of when we were unpacking it and what we're gonna see, but it's almost impossible for me to maintain and contain my excitement right now. Because what we have here, I don't know if you can see this or not, and for those of you, only maybe the true Case Lab fans will realize what this is. But Jake, do you want to reveal what this is behind us? So, the, uh, we'll actually do this a little bit special way. SMA8. So most of you will recognize this and what it is. And you'll notice that would not really fit on that case. But I'm pretty sure the people who are... Uh, Big fans of Case Labs will recognize the size of that front. And also notice that um, unlike a standard STH-10, uh, they don't come with a full cutout on the front like that. But there did happen to be a revision of the SMA-8 called the SMA-8A. And that happened to offer a front with a cutout on it. That cutout was for tempered glass. Well, some pictures surfaced early in 2018 of the update to the STH-10, the SMA-8X. Jeez. I'm literally shaking right now, by the way. I, the camera panning is not just I'm literally shaking with excitement. The Holy prototype case cow. used in those pictures. The case that was to be the new flagship that sadly never made it to market. That never got launched before Case Labs went under. This is it. This is the one prototype that exists of this case. And this is what I have been dying to get my hands on. The front that is currently on it is the vented front meant to be able to mount fans, radiators to of that nature. The one we showed off just a minute ago is the one meant to have a full tempered glass panel put in the front of it. Wow. Oh my god. Give me a turn. No, give me a turn. The SMA 8S. Wow. Holy cow. In all its glory. Jeez. That is unreal. So, needless to say, it absolutely lives up to the extreme moniker. For anyone who hasn't read the press release on it, three 560 millimeter radiators will fit in this thing. And that's just in the top and bottom. That doesn't even count mounting anything in the front. So, there you have it. That is the rarest case slabs case that exists in the world today because it is the only one of it. Wow. Holy and I cannot cow. express my thanks enough for being able to have the opportunity to have this thing. So, there's one problem with this case though. And that's that if you look at it and you know anything about the SMA-8 launch, that they had this awesome little feature for a light panel in the bottom down here and very few of these light panels were made um, they were like a 
$200, $250 upgrade. So, you know, when you're already spending $1,000 on the case, most people wouldn't justify putting some lighting in the bottom of it. Um, but, you know, we just didn't feel like it would do it proper justice to have such an awesome case and not track down one of the light panels. So once again, we owe a huge thanks for that, for helping us track one of these down because they're, uh, they're not easy to find at the moment. But they are certainly quite cool. Jeez. And I do not want to break this thing trying to get it. Yeah, that is okay. I'm going to switch. Yeah. I'm still literally shaking right now from excitement of seeing this case. Again, this is the one and only SMA8X case that was teased sometime back at the beginning of 2018. It is the only one in existence. And not only were they kind enough to send us this case, they even sent us a lot of the prototype editions for it. That original front panel that I showed you was meant to hold tempered glass. And it looks like we'll have to do the addition for that. So, but not only do we have that beautiful vented front here, we can thing. install that. And this big pack there, over here are all additional side panels, one of which does have tempered glass to view the window over here. And they even sent us the unpainted mock-ups so we could paint some ourselves. Like this is just, the coolest thing, like Jim Keating, this is absolutely phenomenal. You guys at Mod 1, it's just unreal that you'd even think and be so kind as to send us this case and we cannot wait to build and do it justice. For those of you wanting more information about this case, don't worry. We are gonna do its own video solely for this case and actually give you all the provenance behind where this came from, the full details, why we have it, and we'll do a real in-depth look of all the features for it. But again, mind blown. But we can't just overlook the other ones that they sent us. This Case Labs SMA8, this is arguably the most iconic case Case Labs has ever had, namely in part to Jay's Two Cents, whose skunk work build utilizes an SMA8. And again, this is Jim Keating's, one of his original ones he used for personal use, the original Zeus build, and we get to do something with it. And, and just add it to our collection. I, I mean, this is just phenomenal. It is so beautiful. One of the reasons too, that we appreciate this one so much, not just for the history behind it, but like I originally mentioned, this is not a just, this is not just a standard paint on it. Um, Gunmetal and White was offered from the case labs, but um, while you won't be able to see it on camera, you can actually stand here and definitely feel the difference. The paint used on Jim Keating's is not the standard paint that was offered when the cases were launched. It's um, a special, it's got a much smoother net texture to it than this kind of powder coat that the X does. Um, but it's a, like a pearlescent white and this like gorgeous gray on here. Um, and it just takes a case that is already phenomenal and brings it to the next level. So between the two of these, we're excited to showcase kind of the history for case slabs from what is their most iconic case and what kind of really put them on the map to what was going to be their top of the line flagship case that sadly never made it out into the public because I can guarantee anyone who had something like this would be ecstatic with it. And just uh, another point to how, again, still shaking from the excitement of seeing these two cases, we are completely overlooking the fact that we also have an X forma MBX Mark II behind us. Arguably one of the most luxurious, case, luxurious cases on the market and premium build quality in and out all the way. And of course we'll have its own video, but I'm just in awe 
at these two case lab cases that we have with us. So we have already ordered the cable kits and everything for these cases. We have the projects planned out. So be excited for some very special projects to be coming out over the next few months for all three of these cases. So anyways guys, thanks for watching. This was just a quick unboxing. Look forward to more in-depth videos of all three of these cases and the projects we have in store for them for the future. Thank you guys, we appreciate all your support. Take care.